Hey guys, all right, we're gonna be talking about something really different today. Today, we're not gonna be talking about what you can do today, but the type of thing we wanna do in the future. Because one of the big things that we're still trying to address is that gap between where debt is and where people are so that those people can actually see the data, understand the data and take action on the data. We're gonna to get to it in just a second. Okay, so this is my idea, is that we wanna use Copilot to help enhance the visuals on uh, our, our dashboards so that we can connect logic and emotion to people, all right? To, or connect the logic and emotion, all right? Now, people are, 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 are just notoriously bad at being able to use data and logic to guide our lives. In fact, almost everything we do ends up not being driven by logic or or data, right? And it's just, that's an inherent thing. And, and often that just comes from like a lack of understanding or a lack of knowledge. Now, it's not necessarily inherently a bad thing, um, but it's the reality of where we exist. So if we're just trying to show people data on a spreadsheet or in a Power BI report or in Fabric, we're gonna have some real challenges there. Now, one of the things that we do know about the human experience, and this is universal, this is not just for people uh, in the US or in Asia or in Europe or wherever. When people see pictures of nature, it evokes an emotional response from them. So if we're trying to visually represent something and we're gonna use data to do that, wouldn't it be great if we could combine uh, that data with a visualization from nature to help convey that expression, that interest. I think this is where we come into an opportunity here to use, you know, kind of, you know, cause Copilot and these new AIs can create images that we can describe and then we can provide some insights around to drive the backgrounds on visuals so we can really ensure that people are, are getting the right information and getting the right uh, uh, understanding of what it is that they're looking at. And not just that they're seeing it, but it's an immediate understanding that they get. So what am I talking about here? So here's your typical uh, a line chart that you see in many different reports inside of Power BI. You think you can kind of understand these, but there's some subtle differences that may make these uh, that may make these charts hard for us to understand and convey the, the appropriate like emotional context to this, right? Like, hey, both of these look like they're rising, but is it really the same, right? Because this is going from like zero to ten, and this is going from four to ten that's not as big of a deal, right? Same thing with these these declines. Are, are they kind of saying the same thing? Well, it, it's really unclear. If, if you don't really know how to look at data, uh, how to understand and explain this information. Conversely, if we use ChatGPT to enhance these visuals, to create a, 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 that sense of awe and, and wonder, we could really use that information to like, you know, put in a natural, you know, mountain range with the sun shining and maybe even a line, you know, in there to, you know, like let's enhance it too, right? Let's, let's enhance that natural image so that we can understand what's being conveyed here uh, with this data. But this data, let's make sure that it's a little easier to understand for you so that it's, it's a little more gradual and it's incline right and and so we use uh we use a similar picture but it's a little more muted than the picture on top here conversely we've got some really negative events that are taking place in, up here in this visual uh and it, you know with lightning and with darker imagery it makes it easier for a user to just look at this information and go oh hey we've got some big problem spikes that are going on here let's have a conversation around these and converse, or and then finally, the last example I'm just saying in the art of the possible is what if we like, sh you know, what if we could tell the story of like, hey, something was doing fine, we took a hit, but now things are going back up again. Again, maybe it's not 
all good, right? Like we did take a decline, so we've got some kind of darker storm clouds out there. But things are starting to show up and, and trend upwards, right? So we introduced some brighter colors here. So some muted colors and then some brighter colors. Now, all of these things are really, you know, we're really talking about the art of the possible, what could be done. What do you think we could do with these new AI tools to help advance our ability to tell stories. Like, I want to hear from you, like what concepts, crazy ideas that you could have. Like you've got a magic wand and you could do anything to help people better understand data when they look at it and that they when they interact with it. Leave a comment down below. I really want to hear about that stuff. And heck, if you like the content that's on this channel, you like like this this type of art to the, the possible, the type of like imaginatory experiences, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Share this to your friends and family. And heck, maybe even turn that alarm bell to so you don't miss any of our future content. You have a great day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.